Welcome to DIY. Why? Because I got it. And today I'm going to be making this fence. Now I've never had any education in DIY. So this is all new to me and uh, it's all learned from YouTube. So if this goes well, thank you YouTube and uh, I hope you guys keep those views coming because I'm getting desperate now. I've made a few videos. It's not going well at the moment. So uh, let's start. And we've got someone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Tickle, 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 tickle. Stop. Hello, my name is Perzaman64. I will be your YouTube intendant today. In this video, you will be seeing some dancing. Damn, that stank. Some very, very hot drills. Whew. Spicy. Some inappropriate swordplay. Damn, that's in the wrong place. And some general weirdness. Alright, so at the back of the house we have a little alleyway where actually people come in and um, do some naughty stuff. So we don't want that anymore. So I'm building a fence so they can't get behind there. As you see on the floor, there's these wood planks. I wanted to use this because it's free wood. It's been out there for like a year. And if I muck up, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's free wood on the floor and I'm just picking up some rubbish. All right, so this is the area where I thought I was going to do the fence, but I ended up putting it further back. But at the moment, I'm getting a rough idea of how big this is going to be. I took a few measurements out. Nothing too serious. I just wanted to do it bit by bit. And there was another thing to note, the floor was uneven, so I had to put that into consideration and that was just a whole other challenge I had to deal with. Alright, so once I knew what I wanted to do, I went to my favourite shop home base and got some hinges, locks, you name it, whatever I needed, I got it. And this item is very important for this build, so I'll tell you more about that later, and obviously I got loads of wood. So without further ado, let's get this fabulous wood framing stage going Time for dangle test number two! Oh yes, another great dangle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my last video. <laughs> Alright, so at this point you're probably wondering what the hell is going on, what is he doing? I am making our first frame that's going to hold the door. So this one has to be a strong one and a level one and ready for this because it is in fact level. Loving that, that felt so good. Oh, and also, remember how I said the floor's uneven? I had to make the frame so that section of it goes down so it can touch the floor, so the weight of it is on that bit. So yeah. 
Okay, so before mounting that on the wall forever, I'm gonna first make the door. So let's start the montage. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, those sections that are cut out with the router was for the hinges, and I am just very proud of this. Then after that, I put a tape pot on one of the sides of the doors where the hinges was going to be. Now that I've done that, I was ready to put the frame up. For this, I bought myself a masonry drill and drilled out some holes for these bits that I showed you earlier that is spanned into the wall when you tighten them up. And I was really happy with this because look how strong this is. I'm giving it a shake and it's not even budging. And I was so excited I decided to have a fight with it. So at this point I couldn't go any further without getting more wood. So I walked all the way to the closest shop which was 40 minutes away, uh, home base. And um, I bring a bucket. This The idea was to hold the wood in the bucket while I walked because I don't, couldn't drive yet, I can now so I made my way there put the bucket in the bush grabbed the wood, went back to the bush grabbed the bucket, put the wood in, walked home it was really hot, it was a really big struggle managed to get home and I decided to work on the fence some more this was a terrible idea because I ended up cutting through my thumb uh, warning this visual, image is very visual, uh, here it is yes cut through it I was like what how but yes then after that I walked around a little bit going oh my god and then I stepped on the stairs and then I nearly passed out I went collapsed my arms were shaking I was like oh what's happening uh, my girlfriend helped me up and um, I had to sit down had a drink and uh, yeah that was fun uh, I stopped work for a little while but yes that happened ha huh. what an idiot Who was the stripper? Have you seen this person? This person.
What person? Wait, ain't you a stripper? No. Run. So after the recovery I was ready to get right back into it so I tried putting up the door myself which worked I had a little play with it look at this woo hoo oh very fancy and then oh. I started with the rest of the framing okay. so let's start with that montage and that'll okay. be it let's roll oh <laughs> not on the hinges but it's good <laughs>
just like that, we are finished. I want to thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It was a very long one and I'm glad you wanted to spend it watching this. So thank you so much. Very grateful. But um, yes, with this um, I can bring the green bin through. That was a very necessary thing to have. Otherwise that would be a pain in the bum. And after I finished, uh, probably two days after, some kids actually started kicking, kicking it in. Trying to do something to it and then they chucked beer cans over. don't know how old I was but what a lovely neighbourhood I live in but that's exactly why I'm building this because of people like that. It's such a lovely lovely world hey. But yes thank you so much. I hope to see you in the next video I make and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.